Hi everyone, today I'm going to be counting down my top three favorite all-time masturbation slash pleasure sleeves. For years, people have asked me to make top three, top five videos, so here I am with a whole series for you so that you can see what prosthetics I prefer. I've been reviewing products for over eight years and have over 250 prosthetics in my house. I have touched a lot of silicone and have a lot of experience, and I also have a lot of masturbation sleeves. Today, I'm going to be counting down my top three realistic masturbation sleeves. Coming up at number three is the Hot Rod from Trans now this is what it looks like. It's a little bit longer and this is where you would put your peen right in there. And also just so you know, every product that I'm gonna be talking about in this video has its individual review and I will put those link in the description below for you to check out. I'm a huge fan of this prosthetic because not only is the suction amazing, it also has a little reservoir up here that you can put a little bit of lube, a little bit of cum lube, a little bit of cornstarch and water, and then you can squirt it out. I love having that visual, and overall having something that's longer is just so nice and just feels so good. Now, this would actually be my number one pick. However, the price actually deters me from making it my number one, which is why it is all the way down to number three. This is $195. If this was cheaper, it would be number one. In second place, we have the Peen Pocket from FTM Pit Stop. This is $50, but if you want a painted version like this, it's $100. The Peen Pocket suction is amazing. It actually is the same design as their original pocket masturbating sleeve called the Shot Pocket. The Shot Pocket was one of my favorites for a long time and then they came out with this. Because I'm focusing on more realistic peens in this video, I wanted to make sure to spotlight this one. I love the suction. I love the design. No other prosthetic company has made it like this because then it makes it easier to roll onto your junk and being able to use. Now, this is a secret compartment that I didn't even know was a thing. You actually also have a little bit of a cum reservoir up here. Now, the difference is that with the hot rod, when you squeeze it, it squirts. This one, if you squeeze it, it just kind of tickles down a little bit. So this is my number two. And in first place is the Stroker from Banana Prosthetics. This is only $36 and has some of the best suction in any masturbation sleeve I've ever tried before. Aesthetically, it's ugly. I'm sorry, I don't like it. I don't like the way this looks. I need it to look a little bit prettier, but I can still visualize that this is my peen when I use it. And I am in love with this suction. Word of the wise is just be a little bit careful when you open it. Just be a little bit like you wanna make sure that you don't rip it. So I'm always kind of, I go slow. I go careful when I roll it on. I don't kind of rip it open. You don't wanna do that because you don't want it to rip. But for only $36, that's why it's at the top of my list. It doesn't have bells and whistles like the squirt and the different type of suction. However, as something that is so inexpensive, but so good, I absolutely, absolutely love this. And these three masturbation sleeves that I just showed you are ones that I use on the regular. Just to recap, we have the Hot Rod from Transthetics, which is $195. Then we have the Peen Pocket from FTM Pit Stop, which is $50 or 100 if you want a painted version. Then we have the Banana Prosthetics Stroker. So these are my top three. Now here's the thing. I have an OnlyFans and a Fansly account. If you're interested in seeing how I actually use these and what it looks like on your junk, Obviously, I cannot show you this on YouTube. So I will link it in the description below. Check out my Fansly page specifically because I have different tiers on there. One where it's educational and one where it's explicit. So two videos will be posted on each of those. One will obviously be a little more explicit, but mostly the educational one will be just to show you how to use this and how to put it on. So let me know in the comments below if you disagree, if you have any other top three, or if there's any other prosthetics that I should take a look at that might make my list next time. Because if there's a new prosthetic out there that I haven't tried and I try it and it's amazing, I will remake this video right away in order to tell you what my top three are. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.